Don't forget your nasib in the dunya. Don't live in poverty. Don't give away all of your wealth so that you have nothing left. Don't think it's haram to buy nice clothes or to have a nice house. Subhanallah, look at the mercy of Allah. He didn't say, okay, I will give the akhirah to the one who lives with no wealth. He said, put your wealth to work for the akhirah. But don't forget your nasib. Don't forget your, your portion of the dunya. It's not wrong for you to wish something from the dunya, to have some limited benefit, to live in some comfort, <coughs> to be able to give gifts to people, to be able to secure a comfortable future for your family. That's not a wrong thing in Islam. In Islam, we have not been commanded to have this rahbaniyyah, this living in monasteries where we close the door and we don't own anything and we don't have any money and we don't spend it. Allah Azza wa Jal has said to you, don't worry, I need to take your nasib, take what small amount of the dunya you need. Don't be from those people, al hakum al takathur, that your wealth is just piling on top and on top and on top. Put your wealth to work. You know, if you speak to somebody who works in investment, stocks and shares or whatever, wealth management, they're going to say to you, don't leave your money in the bank account. It's not earning you anything. Spend what you need and put the rest into an investment. This is exactly what Allah Azza wa Jal is saying to you. Put as much of your wealth as you can into your long-term investment for your retirement home. Not your retirement home in this dunya, but your retirement home, the one that you will never leave, you will be in forever and ever and ever. Put as much as you can forward for your retirement when you retire from action in the akhirah. And then whatever you need from this dunya, don't forget your nasib. Allah didn't ask you to give everything. Allah asked you to give as much as you can to push forward for the akhirah. And not to forget your nasib from this world.